Hello humans, my name is Kay, your Air Overlord, and let me ask you a little question. Do you like robots? Do you want to generate cool images of robots with stable diffusion? Well, you are on the right video, because today I will showcase a brand new stable diffusion model that is specialized in generating robot images using stable diffusion that is called Robo Diffusion. And very soon, you too will be able to generate images like this, like this, or like this in only a few seconds. Also, there is currently a small issue in the AI community that I will try my best to solve in this video. So keep watching. But before we begin, I'm happy to introduce the very first sponsor on this channel, because this video is sponsored by Creative Fabrica, the largest marketplace for creators and designers when you can make money selling your own creation and by graphics, fonts, and other digital resources made by other people. What's even more incredible is that Creative Fabrica has recently launched a new product called CF Spark, an AI image generator that you can use to create images that are 100% unique. And the best part is that you can try it out for free or with a monthly $9 subscription. And with the subscription, you get 1000 speed credits that allows you to jump to the top of the queue and generate images way, way faster. Plus, users with the subscription can download their own creation with the full print-on-demand license, so you can put them on t-shirts, posters, mugs, and make money selling them. And in the month of October, if you purchase a Spark subscription, you can take part in a $100,000 prize spot when you can be among the 47 winners and win between $500 and $20,000. So don't wait any longer, click the link in the description down below, click on Speed Up Creation and create a brand new account to take advantage of this incredible offer today. Thank you very much Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video. Alright, let's begin. Now I'm gonna start this video by kinda introducing what I want to do in this video and then we can really start, alright? So in these last few days I've been working really hard creating all sorts of videos and there is, this is something that you don't necessarily see in the behind the scenes but there is actually a lot of videos that get scrapped and are not uploaded because when I try them out they are not as good as I thought it would be. And I'm not gonna be that kind of YouTuber that's gonna be like, oh my god guys, look at this, this is absolutely amazing, when in reality it doesn't really work well. So that's why there's a lot of videos that are just scrapped and completely deleted because I did not like the final results. And that is why in this video I kind of wanted to create a little chill video, kind of to present a cool stable diffusion model that we can all use and have fun, you know? Nothing too serious, just a small chill video. And if you like this video, maybe we can do this a little bit more often. Maybe we can do this once a week when I present to you a brand new stable diffusion model that you can use to generate images. Now talking about models, I will also touch up on a problem that is currently present in the AI community that I will talk in the end of the video that I think we should really find a solution for because it will be very nice if everyone in the community had the same exact information. But I'm gonna talk about this at the end of the video. So Robo Diffusion is a stable diffusion model that was created using Dreambooth and that was trained on images of robots and androids and that you can use with your own installation of stable diffusion to generate cool images of robots. And I'm not talking about basic robots. No, I'm talking about super, super cool robots. The kind of robots that you will never be able to generate using the base 1.4 model of stable diffusion. So that's really, really cool. So of course, if you want to use this model, all the links will be in the description down below. So if you want to download this, you will go on this page right here, the hugginface.co website. Then you're gonna click here on the files and versions, click on models, click on robodiffusion v1.ckpt, and then click on this button right here to download. It's a 4GB file, so depending on the speed of your internet connection, it might take some time. Then once you've downloaded the model, you're gonna select it, Ctrl X to cut it, go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion, and you're gonna paste your model right here. And then you're gonna go back and launch Stable Diffusion. Now in my case, since my GPU is not that powerful, what I do right now is that I go on Rompod and I rent a GPU whenever I need to generate a bunch of images. And it's only gonna cost me a few cents each time I use it. And if you want to do that too, if you have for example an AMD card or a Mac and you can't install Stable Diffusion on your own computer, you can definitely use this method if you want to generate images with Stable Diffusion. And for this, you're gonna simply click on the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on Rompod.io 
you're gonna create a new account and then you want to select the GPU with at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now in my case, I have the 3090 and the A5000 that are available. So I'm just gonna be using the A5000. I'm gonna click on select. In the template, I'm gonna choose the RAM pod stable diffusion one. For the container disk and volume disk, 20 gigabytes should be enough. Make sure that the start Jupyter notebook is checked and then click on continue. And then click on deploy on demand. Then you're gonna click on my pods, click on this arrow right here, click on more actions and then click on edit job. And you want to delete this space right here and only leave workspace and then click on save. So then what you want to do is go into your Google Drive account. You're going to take your RoboDiffusion model and drag and drop into your Google Drive account. Then once the model is uploaded, as you can see right here for me, you're going to right click and click on Get Link. And then on General Access, you're going to change from Restricted to Anyone with the link. And then click on Copy Link. Then you're going to create a brand new Notepad text document and copy and paste this command that you will find in the description down below. And right below, you're going to paste the Google Drive link that we just copied. Then you're going to select this ID right here, Control c to copy it, and then you're gonna paste it right here. Then you're gonna click on connect and connect to Jupyter Lab. So you're gonna arrive on this page and you're gonna click on this button right here. Then you're gonna select this command, Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it, and then you're gonna run the cell. And this will download the RoboDiffusion V1 model from your Google Drive account and put it in the folder right here. And then you're gonna take this file and drag and drop it into the models folder. Then you're gonna double click on models folder. Again, you're gonna take the RoboDiffusion v1 file and drag and drop into the stable diffusion folder. And if we double click on stable diffusion, we see that the RoboDiffusion v1 is correctly put in this folder. So once this is done, you're gonna click on file and click on shutdown. Then you're gonna come here and click on reset pod. Then once the pod is reset, you're gonna click on connect and connect via HTTP. And then you're gonna have the same stable diffusion UI that you have on your own computer. And here in Stable Diffusion Checkpoint, you're gonna select the Robo Diffusion V1. All right, great. We are now ready to generate Robo images. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda excited. So in the usage notes, it says that you need to use the words new SR robot toward the beginning of your prompt to invoke the fine tune style. So I'm gonna write my first prompt, which is gonna be photo of green new SR robot with a something steps of 28, Euler Ancestral. Let's make maybe four images and then click on generate. I'm really curious to see what kind of images we will get. And these are the final images. Are you actually kidding me? It is insane. I mean, look at the quality of the generation here. It is incredible. I am, I, 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 I seriously have no words. I don't even know what to say. They're just so realistic and so stylized. It kind of reminds me of Daft Punk a little bit. A mix of Daft Punk and maybe Gundam or something like that. I'm not a specialist in robots, but I mean, this is definitely an absolutely amazing generation. I really like this image. And I wonder if I change from green to blue with using the exact same seed, what kind of generation we would get. So I'm just gonna choose one image and click on generate. Whoa, really cool. Not exactly what I was expecting. I was definitely expecting something similar to this, but maybe in blue, but this is cool also. Now I really want to try if I choose, for example, watercolor painting of blue robot, if this would actually give me what I asked for. Maybe if I increase the CG scale a little bit, maybe to nine, four images, and then click on generate. And these are the final results. Whoa, again, I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. This is amazing. And you can definitely see just the watercolor, the grain. You can even see like the grain of the paper. This is really so cool. I think this one almost looks like it's from Halo. I could be wrong, of course, I never played the game, but I don't know, this one kind of makes me think of Halo or Master Chief when it comes to the, when it comes to the head. So absolutely beautiful. Now, what would happen if I used my base prompt that I use with pretty much every one of my testing with this model of stable diffusion? Kind of like the base prompt that I use with pretty much every single one of my testing models. I'm going to click on generate and find out. And this is the final result. Are you actually kidding me? I mean, this is insane. I mean, look at the quality of the final image. It's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And what's really surprising to me is that every single one of these robots are so different. Like you, you could maybe think that using this, you would get sometimes the same image or the same type of robot design again and again, 
but each time you get something different. I do not understand how many images was used to train this model because I mean the, the final quality is just just insane. Look at the quality of the lighting. You can even see like a little cable coming from the head. I mean this is amazing. I cannot believe that this was generated in a few seconds. And this is a model that is available for free for everyone to use. I mean this is absolutely insane. This is really so cool. Maybe I'm gonna use this model to create a new version of myself, I don't know. So what if I use another variation of my prompt, but this time with cosmic energy? This should give me images with more colors and maybe galaxies or space in the background, which I think should complement well with the style of this model. And this is the final result. I mean, I just, I, I, I don't know, I just, I mean, I, this is insane. I mean, this is incredible. This is just some random generation. I did not pick them apart. This is just, this is just me creating a bunch of images. And it looks so good. It looks so real. I really love these images. I really love this model. I mean, I wish I could have discovered this sooner. Seriously, it's amazing. And then let's try a last one. A neutral realistic photo portrait of the robot in the middle of a dense forest Frank Lloyd Wright style. And then click on generate. And this is the final result. I mean, it's, it, uh, I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is insane. I mean, look at the quality here. Look at this. You even have a depth of field effect where the background is just blurry. And look at this one. You have the reflection in the visor of the mask from the forest. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely insane. It's just, it's just amazing. I seriously do not know how they did this, but this robot diffusion model is a absolute success. A big thank you to Noose R for making this because this is absolutely insane. And as I said, if you want to use this model, all the links will be in the description down below. And I highly recommend that you try it out because it is really, really good. Now, since we are talking about models here, this is something that I said in the beginning of the video that we have currently a small problem in the AI community where all the available CKPT models for stable diffusion created by the community are just spread across the internet without a universal document to list them all on a single page. And even if there are sites that list a lot of stable diffusion models, they might not be updated regularly or do not have the ability to let other people share their own created models with the community. So in this document that I created right here, you will find a list of all the most popular and less popular stable diffusion models with a link to where you can download them. So I just started this document right now and I'm just starting out with all the models that I shared with the community from my previous Dreambook videos. Here on the right, you will also find a bunch of sites that also list certain stable diffusion models that you can click on and see what kind of stable diffusion models are currently available and displayed on the website. But what's really great by using this document, you also have the ability to add a comment. So if you right click and click on comment, you can submit a model that is not currently present in the list. So if you think that there is currently a model that is missing from the list that you see right here, you can write a comment and let me know that there is currently another model available. And then I will check it out and update the documents. So this way, not only you have a document that lists all the current models of stable diffusion that you can use and that is updated fairly often, but you can also participate in the community and submit a model that was not listed previously. Now, of course, there is a few rules. So first of all, try to avoid any not safe for work models because I think there is already way too much of them already and photos of real life people who did not give their consent to have a model of themselves trained. So avoid your wife, your friends or family. And this way, everybody in the community will have a one-stop document that they can use each time that they want to try a new stable diffusion model. Now, of course, if you have better ideas, if you know a way on how we can make this better, you can let me know in the comments down below or go on my Discord server and write me a message and I will definitely try to implement them next time. 
And there you have it folks, now you should be able to generate absolutely beautiful cool images of robots and you have now an entire document that you can use to download cool stable diffusion models. If you like this video, we can maybe do this every week when I showcase a brand new stable diffusion model that I personally find pretty cool. This way you are always up to date with what's currently trending. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you want to see. And there you go. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.